Hey, welcome back. So we have um, an Acura flip key. Uh, this is gonna apply for Acuras and also Hondas. So we have a really worn key and we're gonna cut a new key on the Gymkhana. This tip is probably gonna show up as a 2-2 two -two. and I wanna check and make sure. Um, sometimes if they're really worn, having it as a 1-1 one -one can actually damage that ignition key. So you can go back and clean it up on the 303 or make it like a one and a half instead of a one or a two. So let's go ahead and check. This is gonna be where we check the door and then the ignition before we get started. And again, before I stick this in the Gymkhana, I'm going to use the brush to clean off that gunk to get the best decode possible. Remember, with, with car keys, ABC, always be cleaning. Clean off that gunk so you get a, a good decode. See that stuff in there? That just makes it harder for the Gymkhana or any tool that you're using to decode. Make it clean and it works better. Let's get started. So let's go ahead and check. So we decoded it and we noticed there's a two and a one, very worn, worn in general. But let's go ahead and double check. So we have one, one, it drops down three, drops down five, five, cool, up. We'll change that to a two. Look here normal a four then a three and then a five and then a three this point and this point are the same this depth is shallow compare that so that's correct and then a five same same good and then the one cool let's go ahead and change this to a one what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut the new blade and see but if it's really tight in the ignition and then the, the door, what we will do is we will manually cut this on the 303 to make it the same. Hey, and welcome back. So finishing up that Acura, um, there was nothing to really to change. It was uneventful, but I just want to do a recap. So this is a totally different key, but this is going to be a one, one on the tip. So putting in the original key and then our key, um, and the door was smooth, perfect, fine. Also on the, the original key in the ignition, smooth, very worn down. Our key went in and it got caught a smidge on these, these nubs here, it's one, one. And I was able to take it out, put it back in, put it back in and out. And it was fine. Um, like the first insert um, was not tight, uh, but it wasn't like loose, it wasn't the same. So if the original key was like a 1010, this was like a, a nine out of 10. And then turning was fine. And I was able to take it out before I even started programming, put it back in, turned it a-okay. Um, so I didn't need to cut that. The main thing what I've noticed and other locksmiths will uh, say is if these points are too high, like being a one, one, which is normal and correct, the wafers, the tumblers, whatever you want to call them, that ignition will grab onto that and they get damaged and they break. So that's where you want to cut it to make it a two or a two as needed. Everything else is fine. It's just like, it's like an arrowhead. It gets jammed in there and the parts jam in here and you can't pull the key out. Also other things you want to cover is this spine. Make sure it's nice and even. And along here, I have videos as well where you want to break this corner so it fits in that ignition. Otherwise it's going to be uh, too tight and it jams it. A good rule of thumb is use a digital caliper and pretty simple. You can measure the customer's original key. Measure, cool, cool, measure like that. You can even measure that spine. Again, you're making a duplicate. So if you make a key and your, your auto cutter makes it too thick here, it's not gonna go in. I've seen it before. So that's where you manually cut it if needed or you adjust, uh, but yeah. Other than that, that's what I got. And I will make another video where I have to, so a lot of people asking about that, but I will make another video showcasing how we take it from a one, one, and we make it like, we cut it down to make it fit smoothly and correctly. Basically dancing with the devil, almost getting that ignition broken. Uh, but I will do my best to make a video on that. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time. See ya, bye.